Ronnie. Lou. Hey. Hey. Lou. I got some bad news. Hey, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think we'd have this down by now, huh? <laughs> I got some bad news for you. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Again? I'm cheating on you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, I figured as much. Yeah. You should have seen the signs. I wish I would have. Do you know what the signs are? Uh, I, one of them's got to be a stop sign. <laughs> Bumpy road ahead. <laughs> <laughs> On the next Men Are So Smart, signs of infidelity that are just too easy to miss. You need to know them, and you will know them when we do it. On the next Men Are So Smart. So nobody wants to think their spouse is cheating on them, but according to data from the recent General Social Survey, 20% of men and 13% of women have admitted to getting intimate with someone other than their spouse, so it's not an uncommon issue to face. Yeah, uh, if Hollywood movies are anything to do to go by, people who commit adultery are so sloppy and leave so many clues in their tracks, you can't possibly fathom how the spouse hasn't pieced together what's going on. They don't but want to. They, that's true. Uh, in real life, Signs of infidelity can be a lot more subtle than the classics being emotionally withdrawn, losing interest in sex, and staying late at the office, air quotes, several times a week. If you're reading this, you've probably already got some... <laughs> Let's try it again. You've probably already got some of your own suspicions about your significant other, and maybe some of those signs will be familiar to you. Others, however, may be red flags you'd never even thought to consider, so... We'll move on here and learn all about the surefire signs of infidelity that are way too easy to miss. And to learn more about why people commit adultery in the first place, we will revert back to a book called The Real Reasons Why People Cheat. All right, first up on our list, Ronnie, they protected their passwords on all of their technology. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty good sign. First rule of thumb with cheating is to look out for changes in behavior. If your spouse has always been a very private person, then the fact that they don't want to share their passwords isn't necessarily an indication of anything suspect. But if they used to be an open book and suddenly it's harder to break uh, into their iPhone hey. than Fort Knox, <laughs> that might be a dead giveaway. But why are you breaking in? You've got suspicions. <laughs> if you've got suspicions, you better be careful because you might find what you're looking for. Yeah. They accuse you of cheating. Ooh. Yes, it sounds and seems counterintuitive, but people who cheat will often accuse their partner of cheating as a way of protecting their own guilt onto them, projecting their own guilt onto them. These accusations are often a sign of self-guilt, and it will also put the blame on you, causing you to be on the defense and distracted from their actions. Because they get so upset during the conversation, You'd start to think they hate cheating and would never do it to you when in reality, they probably already have. Yuck. Yuck. Uh, this next one, they surprise you with gifts. Well, this sounds expensive to me. You just gave me a bag of dog treats. <laughs> That's true. You're Red welcome. Red flag. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy those on the way home. Thank you, I will. <laughs> uh, so, according to relationship expert Charlotte Rivers, it's commonly known that gift giving is a way to butter up someone when you're feeling guilty about something. So, what could they be guilty of? Most likely cheating. Generally speaking, women tend to be better at getting away with cheating than men, thanks to, I think this is, I'm not sure this is good or bad, their attention to detail. I think that's true. A man might not necessarily notice that his Dove for Men body wash has been used, but a woman will definitely get a sense that something is amiss if her $40 shampoo is feeling a bit lighter than the last time she used it, or if the cap to her night cream has been dun 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 unscrewed. <laughs> if you're unscrewed, you're screwed. You are screwed. Uh, how about your spouse is avoiding specific locations? Mm, yeah, okay. Uh, according to this doctor, a psychotherapist, and marriage expert, if your spouse seems nervous or just unlikely to go and check out a particular restaurant or other public pay place, it might be because they frequent the establishment with their lovers and don't want people that work there to recognize them with someone else. 
uh, they change their appearance. If your partner previously cared little about their appearance but has made big changes out of the blue, like buying new clothes or wearing makeup more often, it could indicate an effort to impress someone else. Uh, same goes for husbands who feel a sudden urge to dress better and or beef up their arms. Oh. You kidding me? Sun's out, gun's out. No room for beefing up there, baby. <laughs> now this hand, my finger's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about they take their cell phones with them everywhere like to the bathroom yeah never the let kitchen. their cell phone right. out of their sight right. mm -hmm. uh, it's not that difficult to imagine that cell phones harbor wealth of information including texts videos and emails uh, hiding a cell phone or taking it to the bathroom or even the shortest trip to take out the trash is a big red flag it means that the partner doesn't want us to see something they're suddenly on their phones all the time Yep. There is a thrill that comes from being secretive and trying to not get caught. Cheating can create a relationship that has an excitement and risk. It can indicate a break from the monotony of the relationship with one's primary partner. So if they're suddenly texting and smiling all the time or checking their phones for messages several times a day, bum, bum, red flag. Bad news. Yep. Uh, how about if they've suddenly gotten really flaky? Uh, if they were unreliable when it comes to making plans to begin with, <coughs> there's probably not much reason to worry. But if they used to show up for everything on the dot and are now suddenly constantly making last-minute ex excuses to cancel or reluctant to make plans in advance, it's at the very least a sign you're not a top priority anymore. Mm -mm. Uh, the excuse may seem benign, but it is a red flag when someone is in a committed relationship. Uh, they regularly go missing in action. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty good sign. Yeah. Uh, you can only use the classic, uh, sorry, babe, my phone battery died excuse so many times. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty common. Yeah. Uh, they don't want you to do anything nice for them. Okay, well, that's certainly not me. <laughs> I'll remember that. <laughs> if your spouse seems defensive or uncomfortable when you make a romantic gesture or offer to cook for them, it might be a sign that your offer is just making them feel a little more guilty because they know they don't deserve it. Mm. Uh, according to this uh, licensed marriage and uh, family therapist, saying things like, I'm a bad person for no apparent reason can also be a sign they're feeling extreme guilt over infidelity. They give elaborate stories about their whereabouts. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. If you ask your spouse where they've been all day and they seem shifty and say, out. That tends to send off some alarm bells. Uh, but the truth is, providing a lengthy description of their whereabouts can also signal that they've rehearsed a story on the way home <laughs> and are trying to include as many details as possible to make it believable. I got the hot Cheetos, and then I had to fill the tank with gas, <laughs> and so I decided to get a car wash. <laughs> when stories seem inconsistent in recapitulating events of the day, yeah, that's a red flag. For example, someone says they were able to buy something for us in a town nearby, even though you know they wouldn't have the time to be there. That's a sign something might be on the horizon. Yep. Another red flag is when the person seems very excited or too excited to share some information with us, especially when we didn't ask them to justify where they've been. <laughs> Yeah. So how was your day? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. first, uh, how about this one? They're traveling a lot more for work. Oh uh, boy. I okay. think that's a, that's a, a big clue right there. Uh, if your partner has always had a job that included a lot of travel, then that doesn't necessarily mean they're being unfaithful, but sad reality is that being away from home simply does offer more opportunities for infidelity. So they seem to be headed to the airport more often than usual <laughs> without good reason. Yeah. Your suspicions are well warranted. For more on this, uh, you can read this uh, women's magazine uh, about the same account. You notice the same phone number cropping up on your phone bills. Uh, way back to the phone again. When it comes to catching your partner in the act... Your monthly bill for their cell phone can be your new best friend. <laughs> if you dig it up and see the same unknown number appear several times, especially during times when you know uh, they weren't around you, that's a big red flag right there. That's bad. Technology seems to really be putting an end oh, to these affairs, doesn't man. it? Man, certainly makes them a lot tougher. Uh, they start to speak in the singular 
Well, that's not good. Uh, one of the hallmarks of a happy relationship is that couples use the word we a lot uh, because they see themselves in a, you know, in a term for life. Uh, kind of like after you kill somebody, you're doing life. Uh, so if you notice that the other half answering with questions, the questions with I am celebrating an anniversary more this than month. usual <laughs> in regards to their future, it might be an indicator that they're considering bailing out. Uh, they might be start saying things like, sure hope uh, to go to Bali someday, or I would love to buy a house in Spain. Without you. Yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> Red flag. Yeah, when they say the without you part. <laughs> All right. Um, he's about to hit a big milestone. Oh, Before I do this oh, one, Ronnie, right. I got a big birthday coming up <laughs> yes. this year. That's right. Uh, one of uh, decade a, birthdays. Yep. A fascinating 2014 study that looked into the activity of people on Ashley Madison, uh, man, don't ever go on that website. No. That, there's nothing good that can come from Ashley Madison. No. And found that men were more likely, likely to look for an extramarital affair if they were about to hit a big milestone birthday, especially one associated with a midlife crisis, like 40 or 50, 50. or... 60. You had to say it. Yeah. Probably 70, not so much. No. Yeah. Uh... They seem to be liking a lot of photos posted by the same person, mm -hmm. especially if it's a person of the opposite sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reaching out to an ex on Facebook to catch up on or spending time uh, or spending a lot of time on somebody's profile may seem harmless in the moment, but a lot of people consider this micro cheating <laughs> as mm. opposed to macro cheating. Yeah. Uh, which experts say can erode trust and often lead to actual infidelity. They've scrubbed you from their social media. Yeah. Yeah. Or it now says uh, available yeah. and your status, single. If, you're, if your husband blocks you from his page, <laughs> probably a red flag. Yeah. Uh, most people don't put up a relationship status on Facebook anymore because it's so 2009. Right. Gauche. <laughs> uh, but it's still fairly easy to tell when someone is married. So if they remove photos that make it clear they have a partner or erase all their social media entirely, not a good sign, Ronnie. And those are taking some extreme measures right mm -hmm. there. Now, how about this? We know that making excuses not to have sex is a sign of infidelity. But as it turns out, Sometimes uh, cheating can invigorate someone's libido or make them want to uh, try new things, see if they can infuse their marriage with the same excitement they found in their affair. So they may want to have sex more often. Wow, where's the middle ground? Not often enough, mm. and then more often. <laughs> Seems like both are red flags to me. It sounds like somebody's going to be flying solo. <laughs> uh, they mention the same person frequently. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. you know what? I don't know what it is about human nature, but I think this is true. Oh, you know, my friend uh, Dolores said that she was... Dolores, huh? Hmm. Who's Dolores? Um, if you get jealous because your spouse seems to bring up a certain friend over and over again, they're liable to say you're just being crazy and paranoid. But the truth is, saying things like, oh, Jessica also loves fish. Hmm. Fish? Really? That's the conversation? <laughs> Jessica told me about this great new show we should watch. It's a pretty clear indicator that they've got a certain someone constantly on the brain. Yep. Now, this last one... Uh... I think this might be the best red flag of I all. I think this is the one to end on right here, Ronnie. You have a gut feeling. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's that intuition sometimes. Mm -hmm. When you suspect your spouse of cheating, it's natural to think that maybe you're just being insecure. But there's a scientific basis for that intuition. So if you've got a lingering and unshakable sense that something in your marriage is off, chances are you're right. And... You don't doubt yourself. Right. And you you may be onto something. So, hey, you know what? Maybe follow up your leads a little bit. I think the gut feeling is the, that's that's the end all wear all. Okay. So here's, you know, this show is called Men Are So Smart and we are. Yeah. We're really so smart. So we're sharing Duh. these hot topic red flag signs with you. But here's the thing to keep in mind. Ask them. Pretty simple. Just ask them. Yeah. I believe, based on some things that I've seen from your behavior, 
that you may have something going on outside of the relationship. Can you please tell me or reassure me that that's not going on? If you don't know the person very well, they may be able to convince you otherwise. But if you know that person, you know when they're lying. Yeah. So that's what I want you to take away from this episode right here is ask them. Yeah. But be be very careful because you're going to possibly hear something you don't want to hear. Right. So consider that when you're making the decision. And you know what I would also say? Probably not a bad idea to have your ducks in a row before you accuse somebody mm -hmm. of cheating because that can be very, that can kind of be the the wedge thing in between a couple. Like, are you suggesting a place to go? Uh, I would just say that make sure you've uh, you've checked your facts and double checked them. Okay. And, you know, your suspicions, like using some of these red flags we pointed out, the cell phone and a new lock number on your phone. Mm, some of those things are probably by themselves, maybe not so much, but uh, added up all together. They might mean something. Yeah. And, um, you know, as I was mentioning earlier, with the technology that we have nowadays and social media, uh, it's pretty difficult to cover up paw tracks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you have it. There's our episode on signs you should be looking for uh, that are obvious that there's infidelity going on. And we hope that you've learned something from this. Uh, that is our goal. Uh, we uh, would like to have you encourage you to like our show and also please subscribe to the show. Ronnie, tell yeah. them more. Uh, there's a little, uh, find a little bell down there. You can push that bell. You'll get notifications every time we post a new show, which typically is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Unless I'm not feeling it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then you're on your own. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. This here little show, it's called Men are so smart and we prove it week after week actually we prove otherwise yeah, well, either way watch anyway